Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Today's video is an exciting one. It's going to be me flip through of my own colouring book. This is a colouring book that I created, hence Chelsea's Pretty Creations. To be honest, I had no idea what I call it, so I just thought, you know, they're pretty pictures and I created them, so Chelsea's Pretty Creations. <laughs> you know, it's pretty just self-explanatory. I didn't know what I call it because it's not like a... Like, it's not a selection of, like, a certain images based on a theme. So, I didn't really know what I call it. But anyway, I do have a PDF version available as well on my Etsy store. And all of the pictures that I have available on my Etsy store are also in this book as well. So, to be honest, I didn't really know, like, what I was going to do for a colour book. I just created a few of these, these girl, like, these images of the, the girl that I'll show you in a second. And then... I wanted to create more but I just feel like I just don't know what to do and I just wanted to get my own colouring book out there and I just thought you know I've got enough images for a colouring book just to start with because it was always like a goal for to get a to make my own colouring book this year and I just one day was figuring well one day I was just like messing around with trying to put it into a pdf and I thought you know it is substantial enough so I decided to just go for it and see what happened so I did create the cover on the Amazon I think it's KDP Kindle Direct Publishing it's free to like make your own colouring book and everything it's just obviously you have to pay for the shipping not the shipping the printing so yeah this is the cover it's a matte cover, you can choose between like glossy and matte, but I went with matte just for the glare on like the cameras and stuff. Like on videos, so I just went with a matte cover and this is a image that I coloured myself, Flower Girl. And this is a picture of me, obviously, it's just my profile picture. They wanted a picture and obviously I didn't know what to pick, so I just picked the same one as my profile so people know. That it's the same person so it has me instagram here and then me youtube and then that's the isbn and yeah that is the cover by chelsea's pretty creations adult coloring book by chelsea jade murray which is me so this part is just like a sort of thank you page and just some some information <laughs> it just says hi everyone welcome to my first colouring book i hope you will enjoy colouring these pages and just relax and unwind or get messy and creative your choice my name is chelsea jade murray i enjoy adult colouring and occasionally drawing and hope to one day create my my own colouring book so here it is and then in brackets i tried lol just some pictures i have drawn of an original character and some other pages i have a bit available for sale on my etsy i could never read out loud so i'm kind of stuffy as well because my allergies are acting up but anyway for sale on my etsy so if you prefer to use your own paper head over there and i will have the book for sale there also be sure to tag me with any completed pages and use the hashtag chelsea's pretty creations and then again me details and then just a thank you so getting into the images these are just like ones that are completely made up out of my head that aren't on my etsy page like you can buy the book on my etsy page but you can't buy like these individually and i just want to say like thank you to anybody who has purchased the book already i did put it on instagram and youtube that i was for sale and also a few people have bought it on me on me etsy as well and thank you to anyone who bought like the individual pages i was selling on me etsy but obviously i know not everybody has like access to a printer so i wanted to put it in a coloring book as well and i'm really happy with how it turned out i think it looks really good and i'm very happy with it so yeah this is just a girl that i created from my own head um and not like from a reference 
so yeah that is her and then I do include a darker line art and then a lighter line art because me um me personally I prefer the light lighter line art when I'm colouring because I like to cover the line art with stuff but that's why it's grey so I don't really like like bold black lines like I don't dislike them but for me personally I wanted to go with like a grey so it's easier to cover with like me jelly wall moonlight and stuff but there is an, a lighter option as well so I will colour both of them it's my book I'm going to colour all of them so I will like it doesn't bother me that this is like a little bit darker than this one but I'll cover I'll colour both of them and then I can see them all in different different colour um, combinations and stuff so that's this lady or you could just use this simply to trace it or you could trace your own black lines it's completely up to you so there is another lady they don't have names or anything but I just centered them around like different sort of vibes like different objects like this is a flower like the flower lady the butterfly girl i really love how they turned out i think that they turned out really well and then obviously she has hearts like when i was drawing them i didn't realize like the small details because it's easy on my ipad when i'm drawing them like i can zoom in but like when it's on piece of paper you can't exactly zoom in so that's something that I'll have to think about in the future because my eyesight's not even that good so I do apologize if you don't have good eyesight and you're thinking that the face is a little bit little but you know you learn in the future I love all of them but I would say that this one and the next one are my personal favorite I really like this lollipop girl and I was actually pretty proud of like this um because I was just venturing out and trying to do a different arm I really suck at anatomy and stuff like that took us absolutely ages to try and get this arm like in this pose but I'm so happy with how it turned out so yeah I really like that And then I do love this one. I did colour this one digitally and I did put it on my Instagram I think but I'll insert a picture now of how she turned out because like the digital colouring I just think it looks amazing and I really like how I coloured it. And it, like again these um, daisies are quite little so I'm not sure like how I'm gonna how I'm gonna um, colour them but it might just have to be like a cover all situation <laughs> like I was just not thinking about it because also when you submit the pdf to amazon you've got to shrink the the picture smaller as well so it'll fit within their like frame or whatever so it did get even smaller but I really like it anyway you could just collide all in one colour we will see what I do on this. Let me know if you wanted to do a colour and chat in this book, in my book. I will be doing one, but just let us know which picture you would like to see first. So there is this one. I am super happy with this one as well. Um, I love this witch. I think she's going to be, she's perfect to colour for Halloween. And I do have a buddy colour with me friend Emma on this one. Because she purchased me books. So thank you so much Emma if you're watching. And then again the light line art. So as well let us know in if I make another book in the future. Do you want two of the same, the same um, picture like this? Because I know that. A lot of companies do like doubles some people like it some people don't but I do think that it is a good idea for like the purpose of like in case you mess one up then you've got another one as a backup 
but also it can annoy me because sometimes I feel like the whole book like if you didn't if you only wanted to colour one version like it might seem like the book's not complete but I don't think that having that extra page of like the double is like a sort of backup is quite a good idea just because like as I say if you mess one up then you've got the exact same image to colour again and then that is all the ones that I drew specifically for the book and then I decided to also add the pages that I've put on my Etsy because I know a lot of people like I say don't have access to printers and stuff so they weren't able to get the digital download so I thought if they wanted to colour those images then I'll put them in this book as well Again, it's Amazon printed paper. If you're not into that, then, you know, it's the only way I can make one right now. Um, It is not the best paper, but it's just standard Amazon paper. I personally don't mind it for alcohol markers and gel pens. and I can use pencils and stuff on it. Um, I usually just work with what I've got. I'm not really like that bothered about paper so if you are then and you like this book like I say there is a pdf version on my Etsy store so you're more than welcome to purchase that one but again it is just Amazon paper so those are like, like I say from that one on is all the ones that are put for sale individually on my Etsy so this is one of the first ones I drew this one was actually hand drawn this one and flower girl they are the only ones that were actually hand drawn and hand inked and printed and everything and then I got an iPad which is so much better because I made so many mistakes doing it like hand hand inked because I just suck at it so much so maybe in the future if I develop my skills I will try again the traditional way but the iPad just makes it so much easier yeah I really love how all of these pictures turned out I think that they look amazing and this is the lovely flower girl that started everything um I just saw it in me I saw like the original sketch of it when I was looking through things so I thought you know what I'm going to draw this again and I drew it again in my sketchbook and I was thinking no what I might just try and make my own colouring page and then I did and then I, I gave it to a few people for free because I just wasn't believing in myself and then I just thought you know what just put it on Etsy just say say what happens and a few of you bought it and coloured it and I'm really really like so happy whenever I say any anybody like colour me pictures on the on instagram and stuff i'm just like oh my god that's my that's my picture and it just warms me heart that somebody else would want to color something that i created it's just amazing and i love how she turned out i think she's beautiful so there is another one that i created for me etsy i love her as well i know that i've been saying that i'm going to do a coloring chat on this page i have one on like better paper that i would colour that I need to colour because I think I'm going to use my alcohol markers and my gel pens and everything like I would do in a Carla Magana book on this one but then I don't I also have the pictures printed out on better paper which I could try and do like some watercolour and stuff on it's not watercolour paper it's like mixed media paper or like just a higher JSM I have no idea what this JSM is um but the other ones I've got it printed on was like 200 JSM I think and obviously this one won't be anywhere near that. This one will probably be like 80 or something. 80 JSM or something like that. Like again, I don't know that much about paper. But I know that to the higher the JSM is, the better. That's about all I know. So yeah. I really like them. Anyway. I love her. I have actually coloured her on my other. My other. um On the other paper. But again. I was just in the middle of a thought and I think I don't think I finished I don't think I finished it so yeah I will do this as a 
speed colour I think and I'm going to do a colour and chat on a new picture that I've just drew um, and put on Etsy it's like a witch so I'm going to try and do that for like a colour and chat I'm going to try and do it from like start to finish Um, it might have a few speedy bits in there but I'm going to try and put that up on the 14th of October it's like a birthday video so I'll try my best to do it before then because it is my birthday on the 14th of October so I think that would be good as a little like and I know it's my birthday but like it would be good to do that as a birthday video just to like I don't know the word celebrate the day I don't know <laughs> celebrate myself so yeah I love I just love all of them like the ones that I do for Etsy except this one I should say no not that one this one I didn't have a reference I just drew it in my sketchbook like ages ago um this one I didn't have a reference for I just drew it and as I say I had that one as a different picture that I did ages ago where these ones um these ones I did have references for so just to let you know that information I don't know but it's not like I copied the reference I just used the reference for like sort of facial structure and how the face should look like the the proportions I should say because I just kind of take a picture and then like draw my picture over it but just make sure that the the proportions are in the right place because I don't really like I'm not an artist just to say I'm not an artist I'm just trying to draw and drawing kind of stresses us out but there will be them times where I just feel like drawing and creating something so that's when the sparks will fly I suppose and sometimes I get I make mistakes and I get down on myself there's a weird printing thing there but that's fine like I get down on myself because it doesn't go right but I have to remember like I'm not an artist and I just need more practice so yeah and then she has like daisies and stuff I really like her but she's not as popular on Etsy I haven't had like loads of sales but like a few people have have um bought the pages and I just appreciate it very much and again the Etsy store is linked in the description box so if you want to go and have a look even just favorite the shop and interact with the store it is completely up to you if you want to but it's much appreciated so yeah and then I just had this little like doozy doozy doodly daisy page so i just decided to like put it as a test your art supplies page or test your supplies whatever so i decided to add that to the end because i really liked how like these little flower patterns turned out and that's it that's the whole book and there's some like amazon always put in that like extra extra like plain piece of paper for some reason it's in loads of books and then printed in great britain by amazon but it, it is this one is obviously printed in great britain because that's where i live but it is available everywhere i think everywhere that has amazon that's what it says on the on like me kdp i keep going to kpd and i know that's not right kdp it is it says that it's available <coughs> excuse me it says it's available in all countries that has amazon so if you don't live in the uk don't worry you can still get this book and if you do get this book then let us know in the comments below um it is much appreciated and i can't wait to see your finished pages thank you to anyone who has already purchased the book i look forward to seeing your your finished pages as well i've seen a few and i'm just really 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 what's the word like i am 
I am happy and I am glad but it just it just gives you like I don't know it's a different kind of feeling I guess it just warms me heart that somebody would want to colour something that I created and yeah it's just that's it I've been rambling on for about 20 minutes so hopefully you like this book let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section I always go to say description box but that is not the right one so yeah I just hope that you like the book and again let us know your thoughts leave those purple hearts in the, in the comment section if you like the video give it a thumbs up and that's basically it that's all I've got to say and if you have any questions if I've forgot to tell you anything I know the price I put it at is nine pounds in in the UK pricing but I have no idea what, like what that converts to so I can't tell you the prices for like everywhere but yeah just go on your Amazon I won't leave a link because obviously I don't I will leave the UK link and the US link because I think that's where most of me most of me um followers are from but if you're from somewhere else then just type in Chelsea's Pretty Creations in uh, Amazon and it should come up so yeah thank you to everyone who has watched and hopefully I'll get some more videos up we'll just see what happens so yeah bye